Jack Bang, I fought my day. Good morning from Fulton Thao, everyone. Now, when you're in a coastal city, of course, you're going to want to tap chung vào. Seafood, I sang. And, well, that's what we're going to start the morning with. So we're going to go meet our buddy here in a little bit because we have an adventure, but I got to make sure I have enough energy for breakfast. So I found a spot, looks good. I'm going to catch a grab over there and introduce it to all of you. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And let's get the video started. Now, I've always said how I enjoy life in Saigon. Favorite city in Vietnam, always live there. But after traveling around a bit and seeing other cities, I wouldn't mind this laid back vibe. Like after a few years, you know, get my business all going and kind of like self running and just travel to make videos, living in somewhere like Da Nang or Vong Tao, something just more relaxed would be cool as well. But definitely less choice when it comes to food. And that's a big deal, you know, when coming from Saigon and always trying new things. You know, uh, I had a friend that lived in a small town in Vietnam. And after a while, he said, man, I, I've tried everything. I've literally had everything. You run out of dishes to try. But, you know, that's the beautiful thing about Vietnam is travel is easy to get around. You can go from city to city. I came here for, I think they charged me 160, 170 for a small limousine with like seven people. So, you know, get away for the weekend for like eight bucks and then 15 for the Airbnb, come out here. Man, I mean, it's it's a good getaway compared to vacations in America. So, nếu có vợ Việt thì chắc chắn là phải tập trung vào Vietnamese tiếng Việt. Buôn rượu, tôm. Okay. All right, come on now. Ciao, Chú. Yeah. Wow. Hey, chào anh. Thật ra, à, em định đi uh, bún mam, nhưng mà thấy uh, bạn này nhìn hấp dẫn. Yeah. Ở đây có cái gì vậy? Bún rêu và bánh canh. Wow. Là bún rêu tô. Món ăn đặc biệt ở đây là là bún riêu tô mà. Đây, có bạn tổ chức xin tư vấn rồi. Đây, chào, chào. Chào. Nhưng mà bánh canh đặc biệt, look, wow, rất ngon. Dạ, đúng rồi. Siêu khác biệt giữa bánh canh đặc biệt và siêu đặc biệt là cái gì? Dạ, là siêu đặc biệt nó có thêm ốc rồi. À, ốc, ốc, ốc á? Dạ, oh. ốc anh em là ốc rồi, ốc. Trời ốc ơi, có ốc mọi người ơi. Should we go, should we go crazy with it? And bánh canh đặc biệt có có tôm này à. cái cái này là cái gì? Dạ cái đó là sò điệp. À sò điệp, dạ. ok. Cái này là mực đúng không? Dạ. Có cái này là riêu cua. Dạ riêu bên em là làm từ tôm. À làm riêu từ tôm, ok. Dạ, dạ. dạ cho uh, cho cho dạ. em uh, bánh canh đặc biệt nha. Dạ. dạ. I came here for the bún riêu tôm, nhưng mà có bánh canh đặc biệt mà mà nhìn khá là hấp dẫn. So we're gonna go with that. But I saw people in here and that's important. You need a place that moves the product, okay? That is always important. And they got a table here for Ngoi Tai. Look at this. <laughs> These chairs, no back support. These chairs, back support. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to use the back support. Oh, <laughs> got to double up, my Ngoi Tai. Yeah. Người mập đó, hiểu rồi, hiểu rồi. Yeah. <laughs> đây, là, đây, là, đây là cuộc sống mà. Yeah. Um, ok, so... Let's see. Uh, trên này gốc hả? Gốc là cái gì? Rất gốc là, là trái cây, cây đúng không? Đúng rồi. Wow! Trái cây gốc này nóng sâu. Mọi người ơi, lâu lắm rồi, Phúc không thử trái cây này. Ok, dạ, yeah. uh, trên này gốc nhưng mà không có thêm đường. Uh, one tip in Vietnam, well, anywhere really, you have a choice with uh, fresh vegetables or where they boil them real quick and i highly recommend doing the boiling because if there are bacteria or worms it will help not saying it'll kill all of them but it'll help to kill them so i would go with that option 
Some of you might be watching this wondering, how does this white boy speak Vietnamese? Sometimes I wonder the same thing, but if you're trying to learn Vietnamese, I'm here to help. After many requests, I decided to create a Patreon where I teach new Vietnamese lessons every week. If you sign up today, you get access to over 60 lessons, plus new ones coming out every week. Link down below in the description and the pinned comment. Let's get back to the video. All right, my Louis, welcome to Vuong Tao. Breakfast over here, honestly. I don't like to eat breakfast at a hotel. Not that my Airbnb had it, but even if I had one, I'd rather go out and try some of the local specialties. So this is such an interesting dish here because it's with uh, ban can, but the ban can is rather thick. Uh, as they say, like the ban can is the udon of uh, Vietnam. No, it's not udon, but is the udon of Vietnam. And when I look at it here, it's, it's rather hấp dẫn. It reminds me of mi wang, minus the yellow but it's, it's very flat and very thick noodles. And we have such a variety in here. We have clams, we have shrimp. And I was also surprised to hear that they have the, um, the Ryu. You can see the Ryu here, I'm trying to pull it up. There you go, Ryu, it's, it's made from tom. It's made from shrimp, my So uh, this is quite an interesting bowl I have in front of me and I'm excited to try it out. Let's try the broth first. Oh. You get that hit of seafood right away, my Lord. I'll just put some yan here. Let's get some rau mu. Okay, and then we have nook jum on the side. You can see here, they hit us with the, uh, you have the satay, you have the mu yat san, and then the nook jum here. Now we should try out the different varieties of nook, nook jum. Okay, the dipping sauce. See how it is? One thing with these sauces, a mistake I used to make all the time in the beginning, you don't pour them in. Okay, don't just pour them in here. No, you take the, the meat or the seafood out and you dip them in. Go ahead and get some on here. You can see this ban can, we got some rau. And then let's take this big, look like a little tom hum, huh? The shrimp right here. Let's chum y'all. Again, we have the broth already in the spoon with the noodles. Oh, that's great. That is incredible. Now, a popular dish, you will see with seafood in Vietnam. Mui ut san, break that down. Mui is salt, ut is chili, and san is green. Therefore, you have the green sauce here, mui ut san. Let's go ahead and get another spoonful with our ban can and our broth. And then now this time, we will take a squid. That a little muk. Put that on top. Incredible. And last one, we'll take the satay here. How about that, my Lord? Right here in the satay. Now, some Vietnamese, they like to eat uh, bao tôm, the head of the shrimp. Not me, buddy. I eat it, but I don't like to eat it. So I'm gonna rip this thing off here. This dish is a bit more expensive than your local average bowl of bún thai or bún mam. But when you see what's back in here, Kind of makes sense. I mean, you have so many different varieties of seafood. It's probably fresher than most big cities. And the flavor is second to none. I mean, this is some of the best ban can I've had because it's such a unique variety. I love ban can kua, don't get me wrong. All right guys, so the total came to 137, which is actually expensive uh, compared to like do ban yun. You know, this isn't ban yun, this is dak bet. And I had a drink and I had can lan and everything, but that's $5.64. Can't even get that at Denny's anymore. But we have a lot more to go in this vlog. We are going to climb a mountain. So I need plenty of energy for it. We're gonna head over and pick our buddy up now and then grab a cab to climb the mountain. Let's go. Got a grab right over here. Let's go check on the guys. It's uh, Honda Vision. Hello. Grab driver right here. Ciao, An. Ciao, my guy. Yeah, ciao. I like a rhythmic non goem. That's good. Ah, kek sang Pullman, yeah. Come on. And there's such a big difference in how it's treated with foreigners here versus, let's say, in America. So, one thing about Vietnam, it's basically a homogenous society in that you're either Vietnamese or you're not. And it, it, it's kind of as simple as that. Even when you're Vietnamese born abroad, they still like recognize your accent. They're like, oh, it's, you know, Viet Q or something like that. 
but uh, bit killed, I'm right. Uh, you man, it's um, it, it's very interesting to see because it's like everybody knows that I'm a foreigner, and even when I start speaking Vietnamese, you know, they're they're cool and everything, and it's not saying they're not nice. It's just I'm always gonna be looked at as a foreigner here, and people have asked like, oh, are you gonna get citizenship in Vietnam? I'm not saying I won't. I'm just saying my first concern is like travel. And I know with my wife, when we went to Taiwan, it was a process to get her visa to Taiwan. When we went to Korea, we had to go back to the embassy like five times. It was horrible. So me as an American, I just walk right in the door. So that's my first concern. But also it's like, it doesn't change much in that if I got citizenship in Vietnam, I could walk around and hold my ID up and say, I'm a citizen, I'm a citizen, call Wok Thich Roy. What? People would still look at me as a foreigner. And that's fine. I've accepted that. But uh, that's one thing that, you know, you should be, be aware of, I guess, in Vietnam. Here we go. All right, mọi người. Tôi the Pullman Roy. Yeah, so basically, uh, Brian, when he travels, he likes to stay in luxury. Mm. To eat his own, man. This is some luxury right here. We had to go back to his place, back to my place, but now we're getting the grab. We're heading to Nui Tao Phong. Tao Phong, don't mind. What does that mean? I don't know, but I'm sure you're more familiar with another mountain in Vietnam. Uh, Nui Ba Dan, do you know that one? Is that like the Black Virgin Mountain? Yes. Oh, I was born there and I was raised there. Pick up. And pick I up. never left. <laughs> I've been there for a long time. It's a sad mountain. All right, my boy, if anybody wants to break that mountain's curse, you know where to find them. Hey, man, I'll be up there waiting for Sloppy you. Sloppy Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Convoy nice. I see you alone. Come, come up. One of us was smart and brought water. Yep. You know, guys, I've climbed a lot of mountains in my day. Not really. Uh, I tried to climb his. I tried to climb his mountain, Nui Baden, years ago. I failed. But it, it was it was one of those things where uh, we found these caves on the way up, and I'm not gonna say they were closed, but I don't know if they were open either. <laughs> and we went in, and the thing they do in Vietnam is they had scenes of people um, killing people, okay. torturing them, Okay. right? Huge skulls, everything. But it was even scarier because nobody was in there. And we had to have a, <laughs> our lights. And I learned that's something they do in Vietnam. They go and they make these areas to scare kids about going to hell. Oh. And uh, they had somebody getting put into a grinder, all okay. bloody and stuff. They had people tied to a pole, someone with a whip. They had... Uh, this gigantic skull, which was like twice the size of me, which is not that tall. That's kind of crazy. But all those time in the caves, by the time we got out, it was getting close to sunset. And yeah. it was one of those things where, I am. Oh, man. How are y'all doing? Thank you so much. How are y'all doing today? Oh, good. After the 800 steps, yeah, and, and guess what? Yeah. Oh, no. We just got there and they said, I'm sorry, we closed so far now. Oh, oh my goodness. One, two, three. Nice to meet y'all. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. In the knee, right? In the knee. He in land, huh? Nice to meet you. What's your name, man? Uh, how's it? Uh, how are you? 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 Uh, yeah, you talk talk to people on the way down. Oh, day, day, him. Dung day, dung day. God, we ain't going all the way up. Hey, how are you? Hey, you yeah, yeah, what's up, man? How are you? Your channel on YouTube. Thank man. you so much. Are you from Australia? Are you Australia? No, but I keep meeting people from Australia on the way up. I'm from Sydney. This is an Australian tour group, Dude, man. Like what's your six, name, bro? Oh, Nathan, bro. Nathan, nice Nathan. to meet you, man. Nice Thanks you, for man. watching, man. Y'all, y'all have a good day and uh, hit oh, me up on Facebook, man. Yeah. See y'all later. So there's supposed to be 800 steps, as somebody was saying. 800 steps. You think that's a lot? 
Oh, it's not too bad. I only got to look at my step counter. This is why I skip leg day, because I never know when I'm going to be walking up. You never before. know, guys. You know? Never so know. If I did leg day, then I'd be suffering. What I like about this is they have plenty of places to rest. Yeah. You know? You want to do it? No. Wow, I want to do it. Not. <laughs> look at that chair, bro. Not too tired yet. Right. One more flight, and then we'll be OK. All right, guys. Tell me when that pain starts setting in. OK. I think we hit the halfway point. I think we're there. He said, congratulations, 10% way, 10% <laughs> yeah. of the way. I know elevators, bro. And then the steps get longer. Look at this. Yeah. The steps get longer and it's like, hey, one step, two, 800 takes a lot longer now. All right, guys, we made it up to the top. 800 steps. It's not too bad compared to uh, Nui Baden or Fancy Pen. But uh, when you have two fat guys walking up, it's a lot harder. And uh, carrying a backpack, now I'm covered in sweat. But still a good experience. Haven't been up here in a long time. There's two ways. You can come up the 800 steps, or you can go through a neighborhood in the back. Uh, last time I went through, though, almost got bit by a dog, so <laughs> this time prefer the steps. But I will say going through the neighborhood is more like slope and up like this, more than just going straight up. So check out the view, Mungo It's just like Chua um, Lin Ung in uh, Da Nang. You get a great view of the city once you get up here. So it's one of those things where when you Lin Dutton, when you reach the peak, it kind of pays off because you look over and you see the city. I guess we are soaked. That was quite the journey from the bottom to the top and back down again, but great time. Luckily, I had some good bets beforehand. Thank you all for tuning in. If you have any questions about Boom Down, comment down below. Hope you can make it out of here. Thanks to Ryan for joining the video. Follow him on Instagram. And uh, until next time, hang up, fly, and chupa.